ituturo ko sa wikang Filipino. Okay, so meron tayong tatlong steps na gagawin. Una, gagawa tayo ng mathematical equation or formula based on sa statement. Pangalawa, susolve natin yung K o tinatawag na constant of variation. At yung pangatlo, susolve natin kung ano yung tanong, anong hinahanap. So, solve by this B. So, ito, halimbawa natin, tatranslate natin itong uh, statement sa so, mathematical equation or formula. So, number one, y varies inversely as x. So, yung ginamit na mga variables o letters ay y at saka x. So, y, so magiging y varies inversely as x is equal to k over x. So, y and x, y is equal to k over x or k is equal to xy or yx. Pwede ito magkabaliktan. Number 2, a varies inversely as b. So, yung mga ginamit na letters or variables ay a at saka b. So, yung magiging equation natin dyan. So, a is equal to k over b. So, a and b, a varies inversely as b. Or, yung k is equal to k times b. Pwede yung b times a. So, pangatlong halimbawa, m varies inversely as n. So, yung mga ginamit na variables, m at saka n. So, yung magiging equation natin dyan or formula is m is equal to k over n or yung k is equal to m n pwede rin siyang n m so ito yung ano uh, activity dun sa libro page 209 yung instruction niya express each of the following statements as a mathematical equation so yung number 1 The number of pizza slices, P, varies inversely as the number of persons N sharing a whole pizza. So, yung ginamit na variables dyan, P, represent as the number of pizza slices. Tsaka yung N, represent as the number of persons. So, ginamit P and N. So, yung magiging equation natin dyan. So, P equals k constant over n or k is equal to p times n or n times p okay so sa pangalawang question the number of peche plants n in a row varies inversely as the space s between them so yung ginamit na variables dyan ay n at saka s okay n for the number of pechay plants yung S naman the space between them so yung equation natin ay N equals K constant over S or constant is equal to N times S so ito yung example dun sa libro page 208 So, explain ko sa inyo siya step by step. So, find the equation and solve for k. y varies inversely as x and y is equal to 6 when x is equal to 18. So, una natin gagawin yung formula muna or mathematical equation. Gamit itong statement na y varies inversely as x. So, yung ginamit na variables dyan, y at saka x. So, yung magiging equation natin, since y at saka x ang ginamit, so equation natin ay y is equal to k constant over x or k is equal to x times y or y times x pwede magkabalik pa pagkatapos nung makuha yung equation or formula 
kukunin na natin yung value ng k so solve natin yung k gamit itong equation na to na k is equal to xy so k is equal to xy so substitute lang natin yung value ng x so yung value ng x dito sa gi given ay 18 so copy muna natin yung k itong x ay 18 times ang value ng y natin ay 6 18 times 6 ay 108 so yung value ng k natin ay 108 find the equation so yung final answer natin for the equation gamit itong y is equal to k over x so substitute lang natin yung 108 dito sa k gagawin natin 108 itong k so yung magiging equation natin is y copy is equal to yung value ng k ay 108 over x so equation natin ay y is equal to 108 over x so this is the equation Okay, ito yung answeran natin yung activity number 12, page 210. So, find the constant of variation and write the equation representing the relation between the quantities in each of the following. So, number 1, ito yung table natin. X is equal to 1, tapos yung Y is equal to 2. Kung yung X ay 2, Y is 1 x is 3, y is 2 third. If x is 4, y is 1 half. So, yung statement natin dyan, y varies inversely as x. So, y varies inversely as x. So, yung magiging equation natin ay y is equal to a constant of variation over x or k equal to x y so meron na tayo yung mathematical equation so na natin kukunin yung value ng k so gamit itong equation na to so, substitute lang natin yung value ng x at value ng y para makuha ang value ng k so ito yung formula natin k is equal to x y substitute natin yung x 1 value ng y which is 2 1 times 2 is so k is equal to ok so kahit anong gamitin mo dyan na value basta same column lang sya still ang magiging value ng k mo ay 2 sige sample natin let's say this one this column k is equal to xy so yung value ng x ay 2 times the value of y is 1 2 times 1 is still 2 pa rin this one this column naman so k is equal to xy x is 3 and y is 2 3, three times 2 so itong 3 ta times mo dito sa numerator 3 times 2 ay 6 copy and 3 6 divided by 3 ay 2 ito namang 4 and 1 half so k so to x y x ay 4 times 1 half 4 times 1 yun 4 times 1 ay 4 copy and 2 4 divided by 2 ay So still, kahit anong gamitin natin dyang value ng x and y, basta same column lang, still, yung k natin is equal to 2. So, sunod natin gagawin ay equation. So, write a mathematical equation gamit ito. Na y is equal to k over x. So, copy yung y. k is 2. Copy yung x. So, yung equation mo ay y equal to 2x so ito naman yung number 7 
uh, Y bar inversely as X and Y is 12 when X is 5. So, una natin gagawin yung mathematical equation muna. So, Y bar is inversely as X. So, yung formula natin ay Y is equal to K over X or K is equal to XY. So, may formula na tayo. Gamit itong K is equal to XY. Kunin natin yung value ng K. Substitute lang natin yung value ng X at saka Y. So, K is equal to XY. X natin ay 5. Times value ng Y natin ay 12. So, 5 times 12 ay 60. So, meron na tayong value ng K. Sunod natin kukunin yung kanyang equation. So, gamit itong y is equal to k over x. Substitute lang natin yung value ng k, which is 60. So, yung y is equal to 60 over x. So, this is your equation. So, try natin itong answeran yung activity. So, number 1, if y varies inversely as x, and y is 3 when x is 4 find y when x is 6 so una natin gagawin first step natin yung mathematical equation muna so y varies inversely as x so y and x ang ginamit sa equation natin ay y is equal to k over x or k is equal to x times y or y times x so, meron na tayong mathematical equation. So, yun natin kukunin yung value ng k. So, using this one, using this equation, k is equal to xy. So, ang gagamitin natin unang value para makuha yung k, itong unang given na y is equal to 3, saka x is equal to 4. Ito siya, gagamitin mo ito mamaya. Ito muna yung gagamitin natin given. So, substitute natin yung value x is 4 times yung y natin ay 3 4 times 3 ay 12 so yung value ng k natin ay 12 so to find y para makuha naman natin yung y when x is 6 gamit itong equation na to na y is equal to k over x substitute lang natin yung value ng k at value ng x para makuha natin yung y ok so, k natin ay 12 over value ng x ay 6 12 divided by 6 ay 2 So, yung number 2 if, if r bar is inversely as s and r is 100 when s is 27 find the value of r when s is 45 so, first step natin, kunin muna natin yung mathematical equation. So, yung ginamit na variables are r at saka s. So, yung equation natin dyan ay r is equal to k over s or k is equal to rs. Pagkatapos natin kunin yung equation, kunin natin yung value ng k. Gamit itong equation na to. k is equal to rs. So, gamit yung first given na R at saka S, substitute natin yung value para makuha natin yung K. So, yun, R natin ay 100, so na yung K is equal to 100 times S natin ay 27. So, K is equal to 100 times 27 ay 2,700. Okay. Pagkatapos natin kunin yung k, find the value of r. Gamit itong equation na to para makuha natin yung r. So, r is equal to k over s. Ang k natin ay 2,700. At ang s natin, dito sa second given na tayo. Okay. Second given natin, value ng S natin ay 45. So, 2,700 divided by 45 ay 60. So, 
Ito number 4 Last natin na uh, example If y varies inversely as x And y is negative 2 When x is negative 8 Find x when y is equal to 2 So Solution natin Unang step Gagawa tayo ng equation So Based dito sa statement Ginamit na variables ay y at x So yung equation natin ay y is equal to k over x or k is equal to x times y Okay, tapos natin kunin yung equation kunin naman natin yung value ng k gamit yung first given na x na y at saka x So k equals xy Substitute lang natin yung value ng x dito sa first given so negative 8 times yung y natin ay negative 2 so same sign multiplying same sign positive yung result so negative 8 times negative 2 ay positive 16 so yung k natin ay 16 find x when y is 2 so gamit naman itong equation na to kunin natin yung value ng x y is equal to k over x okay so mag iba yung situation natin ngayon kasi ang missing ito kanina yung mga example natin ang missing dito ngayon ang missing ito so ganun pa din ang process substitute lang natin yung value so yung y natin ay 2 itong y gawin mo siyang 2 yung k natin ay 16 over x is missing so x pa rin siya so in this case ang gagawin mo lang dyan cross multiply so understood dito na whole number na over 1 Okay, so ito times mo lang yung cross multiply tayo ito times mo itong 2 times x 16 times 1 so 2 times x natin ay 2x equals 16 times 1 ay 16 para matanggal natin yung 2 i-divide natin yung both side by 2 okay so kung anong number na nandi dito yun ang ipang divide mo both side halimbawa kung ito ay 5 okay so i-divide mo both side by 5 so since ito yung nandi dito para ma maging makancel ito x na lang yung matira i-divide natin both side by, by 2 so 2 divided by 2 ay 1 so simply cancel out so ma-remain na lang matitira na lang yung x lagay natin dito 16 divided by 2 ay 8 so yung value ng x natin ay 8 